Okay, we're here with Martin Dunn from Peep Magazine, ahead of the Colossal Show on March the 8th at Raven Meadows. Martin, looks like it's been quite the show, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's going to be a great show. Um, massive Bill. Phil's done another great job of getting all these North East boxes on, all these good lads on. Um, a real credit to Phil with this, uh, Neil Fanning as well and Mal Gates, because they're the ones putting the work in. Um, the show is going to be fantastic. It's got a lot of prospect. You know, it's got John Green, who's you know he's up and coming, really exciting fighter. Liam Kamek from Horden, he's making his debut. Another exciting debutant. Yeah. Then you've got Tommy Ward, who goes without saying. Yeah. Um, but the main fight for me is uh, Tom Whitfield against Daniel Cole, Hartlepool, South Shields. Um, We've seen Lee Mould last year, you said it in the press yeah. conference. Seen Lee Mould last year against Craig Dixon, we know what it can do for the North East, how much excitement it can generate, yeah. and that's going to happen again at Rain Meadows. It's another one of those where it's, it's, it's not a matter of sitting on the fence, but yeah. you know, you've got some in one camp, some in the other. I mean, even I've had Peter Cope before, yeah. he's siding towards Dan, but even he's, he's just slightly siding towards that's Dan, it, you know, yeah. so yeah. it's. That's really it. a pick and fight. I don't think anyone wants to pick one. It was the same as Mould and Dixon. No one really wanted to pick a winner. Um, and it was hard to pick a winner even after the fight. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, we were sitting pre ringside, we didn't know who had won. Um, but no, I think with that, again, I wouldn't want to say it. Um, I think it's going to be really, really exciting, really close. Um, and like the, the lads have said themselves, it's a big risk for to take, but it's a one they're, worth, they're willing to take. So, can't wait for it, yeah. And Phil Jeffries, he's been a man of his word, he's, he's, he's stepping his fighters up, yeah. he's, he's, it's all part of the boxing sport where you, you go through, you, you cut your teeth, you go through your development, you have your learning fights, but I think virtually all of the fighters on there mm. are fighting against somebody who's actually coming to win rather than survive, yeah. and that's from a fan's point of view, I mean there's going to be a full house anyway, the, the tickets have been going like hotcakes yeah. apparently, yeah. but yeah. it's like from a fan's point of view, the action, it doesn't fight. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's the difference though when you see fights like this coming up and you see shows that have got debut and so on, you're going to sell your tickets. When you see shows that have got de uh, derbies on, you're going to sell tickets. But when you see people who are fighting, you know, people who are 6, 7 and 0 or 6, 7 and 1, and they're not just coming to cover up and to, to cover themselves up and yeah. get beat or, or to take what they can, People want to watch that. People yeah. want to watch that style of boxing. They want to watch them fights, and it's what I want to watch. It's what you want to watch. So, yeah. and it's what the boxers want to be involved in as well, because they want to be involved in the exciting fight, so it gets their name out there that they yeah. are an exciting boxer. And obviously, Thomas is on back. Mm -hmm. He's going to be heading the bill there now. Well, since yeah. Dougie Curran. Yeah, I'm good. Dougie's gone. I'm, I'm good. Uh, he's dropped out because I haven't seen him fight in a, in a while, actually. Yeah. But um, he's another exciting one. But Thomas. Thomas is good, he, he'll do he'll do well. Um, Have you seen how he's fighting? He's fighting a guy called Isaac K. Isaac K, yeah, yeah. Um, I think Thomas will, he's got a certain style, Thomas, and he's sort of come out of that, that amateur game that he, he was in. Yeah. Um, and he's adapted himself very well, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he, how he goes ahead with this one. Brilliant. So are you going to be there yourself? Yes, I'll be there, um, probably alongside yourself and, yeah. uh, and Cliff. So, I'm looking forward to it, it'll be a really, really good show. Obviously a lot of fights on, um, a lot of excitement and a lot of value for money as well for tickets. Brilliant, in that case I'll leave it there. Cheers, Martin John. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.